Hey everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I am doing another floss tube extra. I am going to show you the dimensions kit that I have, and I think I have a lot. Um, compared to some, it might not seem like a lot, but and I didn't count them up, but I'll show you what I have, and um, then, and I'm, you know, I will apologize if you see an ant running across. I am on the bed in our guest room. I have the sheets off because I needed to wash off the cat hair. And um, they, we live in the central coast of California, and it has been a t just a terrible year for ants. I think I'm going to have to bring in a professional. We've always been able to handle them ourselves, and we're just not having good luck this year. Um, I think they're, we have, we're in a big drought, and I think they're coming in for water. Why they're in my guest room, I don't know. So um, anyway, so I apologize if you see an ant. I also, you guys have all three cats in here. I thought this, they always want to be in the room when I'm filming a video. And um, so I thought I would just let them in. So I am on a bed, my tripod is on a bed. So it, the camera might shake around as they're walking around and stuff, but they might come, I'm hoping they'll come and get in the camera so you can see them. Cause I do have people ask me about them um, in various videos. And then I also want to say, I know I've been doing lots of floss tubes. I've just been kind of in a cross stitch mode. Um, speaking of kitty, there is Stachio. Um, but I have been in a cross stitch mode um, and not been doing it. So I, I have to apologize for my paper crafters. I'm sorry I haven't been um, doing just uh, doing a lot of paper crafting. I'm um, needing to do some cleaning and reorganizing in my in my craft room, and I just um, have not had the time or really the the um, wherewithal to um, to do what I need to do to just really to make the room to. Um, to be able to really craft in there. So I have been, I've made a few cards here and there, but nothing, nothing much. Stuff that I've sort of needed in a timely manner. Again, sorry for the, um, sorry for the cats. They're going to, like I said, um, make the camera wobbly, but um, I thought you might like to get a look at them. So here is Pistachio. He's my grand white boy. And um, he's sniffing my kits. I have I have all my kits over here. So um, again, my, these aren't all my kits, but these are all the, my dimensions kits that I have. So I will um, show you these. And I'm going to start with the small ones. Um, some of these are kind of random, and I've noticed I got several of them at um... Dashie. Dashie. Let's go see if I can get him to look up at the camera. Um, but um, several of them I got on clearance, probably at Hobby Lobby. I think some at Tuesday morning, maybe. And um, <laughs> kitty, why do they get into everything? They're so funny. But um, and some of them at um, oh my gosh, what was the name of that place? Beverly's before it went out of business. So I will show you what I have. I got these little dimensions. Um, they're called Stitch Wits, and they are at, they were at, clearly at Tuesday morning. Um, I got, evidently I got this one in 2018. It says Sweetie Pie, and these ones have the little, the little hoops, the little three inch hoops in there, but cute. I thought that little pie was cute. I don't know when I'll do these, but, and then the other one, uh, Stitch Wits, that I have is called Queen Bee. Um, super cute, and again, it has the. This one only has two colors. Look at that little floss thing—a little wooden hoop and the Ada and the um, the um, of course the pattern in there. So there's that. We got a kitty interested in sniffing it. Um, then I also have one of kind of one of my one-offs here um, that doesn't really fit into a category. Is this um, mini banners by Dimension? By dimensions and this is um, evidently this is a series um, but this is the joy cardinal I think I got this on Amazon and it has some little jingle bells in the packaging looks like it has like cream Ada which is 14 count um, so that's pretty cute I might swap out the fabric I don't know if this has the I don't think it has the little bracket in it I'm trying to feel I don't think it does. I want you probably have to buy those little 
you can see in that picture you probably have to buy those little brackets separately so but anyway there's that one I'm sorry I'm having to hold my tripod because the cat's sitting right right next to it um, next you guys I'll move on to these are the dimensions learn a craft and I just have um, a couple of these. These also have the hoops with them. They're six inch. And um, I have this one, the Take Time. And I saw my friend Sonia, she recently stitched this one, I think as a Christmas gift. And um, it turned out really pretty. So even though these are these are like um, intended for you to learn, learn a craft, they are, I mean, there's several colors in it. And I don't know if this has any blends in it or not, but, Anyway, and this one has a plastic um, six inch hoop with it. So I have that one. And then I also have the Life is Good um, Learner Craft. And um, I do, being in, on the central coast of California, I do live in wine country. So um, this one appealed to me. I'm not sure where I got this one. Um, I'm guessing maybe Amazon, since it doesn't have like a sticker on it. But again, it's got some okay detail for, you know, just being a little first stitch kind of a thing um, but so there's that one and then I have um, several of the I didn't even know I had this many of these um, several of the these are the dimensions regular um, 7 by 5 so um, I have this one and I did I think I did get this at Beverly's um, or maybe Joann's um, it's called Beach Houses isn't it cute and I look at all these and I'm like, I need to do these. So, um, but again, it's a full kit. This one is from 2011. So, but so I don't know if it's still available, but called Beach Houses. And then this one was $2 at, um, on clearance at Beverly's. And both of our, we had, I had two that were kind of in proximity and they're both closed now, which I'm sad because they didn't, they had lots of cool paper crafting stuff, and they also uh, they had fabric, really good fabric, and they also their clearance was really good. Um, but anyway, you can see here I got this. It's, it's what is it called? Wish, and it's just a silhouette of a little boy. Um, this is Dream, Wish, Believe in a dandelion. Super cute. So, and it was two dollars, so I couldn't I couldn't just leave it there. I think I have a few of those that I got in their clearance. This one I got not too long ago on Amazon, um, and does this one have a name Nordic Winter? And this is one I'm, I'm interested in maybe making for my sister and her wife. They live in Sweden, and this kind of fits their aesthetic. So, um, but I thought that was cute. There's another one that has like a moose and a, um, I think a wolf. It has more like North American forest animals on it, and I kind of want to get that one too, but I haven't done it yet. I'm in my, um, I'm in my no buy. I have to really say low buy year for um, buying these. I haven't, it's not that I haven't bought anything, but um, I've really, really cut back on how much I'm spending every month on crafty stuff. So I'm um, trying to get a, a handle on it, but here's that one. That one's cute. Um, I also went, I think this is right before the year started. I wanted to, um, I was in the mood to stitch cats because you know, I am a crazy cat lady now. So um, I got this Black Moon Cat, and I thought this one was really cool. Um, I also wanted something else. I'm, I'm stitching something on, it's my Plague Nurse on black linen. It's my first thing on black, and I shouldn't have started on linen. It's really, really hard to see. So I was thinking I might do, um, you know, something like this that's on black Ada. I think that would be easier to get the feel for doing something on dark fabric but anyway but I thought this the moon is really cool and so the cat I believe and the fence they're not stitched so there's the of course the moon is stitched there's back stitch uh, the stars are stitched but I think the cat is just the fabric and like the slats of the fence and stuff but pretty cool haven't opened it yet though um, then I also got the um, what is this one called be a light and um, you guys I you know I really one of the things I really miss from um, Indiana where I'm from is the lightning bugs um, we don't have those out here so um, and I just thought this one looked like lightning bugs so I picked it up one time when I was just looking at stuff so um, this is navy blue Ada so this is another one that would be a good 
good practice on dark fabric. And then this one, I apparently I got this at Hobby Lobby, and I think this was um, this way. I got this for two seventy four, and this is called Mermaid Song. And um, my daughter loves mermaids, so um, floating in the sea of love is what it says. That lettering says in her body. Um, I don't know if this one has beads or not. They must, those must be French knots. But um, but that's another one that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And then I also I picked up this. Um, this is one of the contenders I thought I might do for um, for a family wedding, and then I found something else I liked better. But this is the bride and groom wedding record, and you can see from this one, you can customize what they look like. So with their skin tone and their the type of dress and you know whether the grooms have facial hair you know that kind of thing I mean you could probably easily do two women or two men I mean whatever you want to do there so that those are my regular um, dimensions kits and now I'm going to go on to I guess I'll go on to my regular dimensions kits that are the bigger size um, 13 by this one's 13 by 20 um, some of them are ornaments, but um, but anyway, I got um, this stocking. I went on a stocking kick a, a year or so ago um, and bought stockings. I've got two of them on the go now, so I'm not uh, planning to start any of them anytime soon. Um, this one's not a Dimensions Gold, but man, it, it looks <laughs> it looks pretty complicated. It probably means there's not anything but cross stitch and back stitch in it, but man, that's good. It's going to be con confetti heavy, and there's lots of colors. So anyway, um, Santa's Arrival is what this one's called. I thought that one, sorry about the glare on these, but they're still in the packaging. Um, then I also have the, um, the Christmas uh, jar ornaments. And these, I think, are on plastic canvas. Um, yeah, and I'm not really sure what this wire is for. I guess maybe to make the hangers. So this has everything in it. And I'm not sure if I'll do these on the plastic canvas or not. I've never stitched on plastic canvas. Um, but I don't know. I might. I might try it. I'm not. Um, I think I said in my last video I'm not loving. I'm doing some Mill Hill and I'm not loving perforated paper but I think I just need to get used to it. So but anyway that is the Christmas ornament jars. And then I also have um, this is called Peacock Butterflies, and this was also a clearance from Hobby Lobby in one of their, when they did their needlework clearances. And this was a few years ago. I haven't, I haven't bought clearance products from them for a long time, uh, for a couple years anyway. So, but this is a pretty one. Um, I do love the colors in this one. Um, but this is, this is one I, when I bought it, I thought I might use it as a giveaway. So I might at some point. Um, but there's that one. Oh, let me show you the back so you can see all the pretty colors. And this one's on a, Looks like a 14 count off-white Ada. I think most of these regular dimensions are also on 14 count. Um, this one is similar to the wedding one that I showed you, but this is all in the family. And this is where you can customize um, the finish to look like your family members. So you have the patterns for all these little pets and people and stuff like that. I thought that was cute. Um, does have the hoop with it. Um, and this one doesn't have the floss organizer. So I'm not really sure why that is, but you'd have to separate those out. Um, but this would be one that would be super easy to sub in your own floss if there's a certain like dress color or hair color that you needed. So there's that one. Um, I also have the uh, Fun in the Sun, and um, I really think this one is cute too. This one would be fun. Do you see that with the glare? Gosh, sorry. Um, I actually got this one I kind of wanted to do for my bathroom, but it's mostly words, um, but super cute. And I do live uh, fairly close to the beach. That's what it looks like when it's done. So um, anyway, but yeah, this one doesn't look like it has too many colors in it. But And this is also on 14 count white Ada. So that one's cute. Um, I also have Twilight Silhouette. Um, I think I picked this one up when my, I love the moon um, motif, but my um, daughter was wanting a fairy. Um, and so I picked this one up. Um, they look like they're dancing too, and she was a dancer. So this might be one I get to her again, the dark, the dark Ada. We'll see. 
Um, this one happens to be navy blue. Um, yeah, the finished size is 11 by 14 by 11 on this one. So, put that one. Um, this is another one that I picked up um, on clearance at Hobby Lobby. It was $6.25, and it's a Kathy Heck Studio for dimensions. And just a, this one looks like it would be fairly quick. Um, it says it can be, it's a 10 by 10, so it's square. And I thought that would be a cute baby sampler. And it looks like it's got a different colorway here, like pink or blue, so that's probably what it's for. Um, so you can do it either way, but there is what the back looks like. And here's Dashi, he's back. Oh, Callie got down. But um, the boys are still in here. I don't know where she went. But, um, so there's that one. And then I also have um, Sea Beauty. I thought this one was pretty too. And um, I kind of, I love to do mermaids. And so I got this one thinking I might do this one for me. The, the Nora mermaid that I did, I gave to my daughter. Um, but she's, she's really pretty. So I've got her. Ooh, getting kind of an app. Ooh, getting kind of an avalanche going over here, guys. Sorry, let me move some of these over. Okay. And then the I have the much loved Victorian charm. I think everybody has seen this one. I do love this one. I love that there are two cats in it. I think if and when I ever stitch this, I will change these to look like my cats. So I might need to put in a third cat um, some, somewhere. But um, but this is a this is just a really pretty one that I got. I don't know, a year or so ago. This one is the Dolphin's Domain. And this, you guys, was an accident. I had ordered something else. And it, um, this is what came. And when I contacted Amazon, they were like, oh, just keep it. And they sent me the, the right one. So, um, anyway, so this is a Dolphin's Domain. I probably wouldn't have bought this one. But it is, it has got lots of pretty colors in it. And I don't know, I like beachy stuff. I might, and I love dolphins, so I might end up stitching it at some point. Um, another clearance one. This was $5 at, on clearance at Beverly's back in the day. And this is another uh, baby sampler called Baby Hugs by Dimensions. Um, yep, so I don't know the year on this one if they would show it. Looks like it's a 9 by 12 finish. And there is the floss colors. So there's that one. And then another one I got on clearance was um, it's another Baby Hugs. And this is called Wild Thing Birth Record. And I thought that was really cute too. Um, that to stitch the whole thing or to maybe do the animals individually would be cute too. So, and again, that was $4 on clearance. So, how could you not pick that up, even if you just, for the floss? So, oh, and I think we're about to have a kitty fight here. There, like I said, you... <laughs> Sorry. Stashy was reaching out to play with his brother. Um, okay, honey. Hi, sweet boy. You're right in the way now. You wanna go get that? Go get Cashy? Cashews are walking around the room, so so Pistachio is stalking him. Um, speaking of Cashew, he is a gray cat with gold eyes, and when I saw Max the cat on, um, <laughs> sorry, I could hardly get it in here with him under here, but when I saw Max the this Max the cat on um, Amazon, I had to get it because it looks like my Cashew, so. Um, so there's that. Then I also have um, Scenic Farm. <laughs> and um, that's what this one looks like. And this, I think, was one of the ones that was re-released. Um, had been, had been, um, I think I may have saw this on, seen this on um, uh, Luda's channel. But you guys, this looks like Indiana in the winter. So I had to get it. We lived, you know, Indiana is very flat. Um, it's really gray. There's lots of snow. And um, this one just reminded me of home. We have lots of red barns and things. So um, this looks like an Indiana landscape to me. So it appealed to me. 
Um, this one was also on Hobby Lobby clearance for $7.50. And this is called Hummingbird and Poppies. And um, the state flower of California is poppies, although our poppies are orange, not this um, red color. And I was thinking this is one I might try to convert to the oranges um, so they look more like California poppies. But um, anyway, I thought this was a, a really pretty kit for $7.50. So, and then one of my latest acquisitions, you guys, like I said, I'm not supposed to be buying, but this is something I just got recently. This is, um, I'm into horses right now and watching horse videos and, um, I went, I went to rescue, um, retired draft horses, but that's neither here nor there. I mean, I don't live anywhere. I've never had, I don't know anything about horses, but, um, that just is something that's got, kind of gotten my attention. Isn't that funny? Down a YouTube rabbit hole. So I decided I wanted to stitch some horses, and so I found this wild horse kit, and I thought this one was really pretty with the um, pink flowers and the horse. And I w actually was going to change the fabric out on this one, you guys, but the fabric, I could see, is printed. You can see the blue is actually it's not stitching. It's actually printed on the fabric. So I probably will use um, the if Ada. I don't do a lot of 14 count anymore, but... Um, I probably will do it on that. So those are my regular sized dimensions kits. Those are the, all the ones that I have. And then now I'll move on to the golds. Um, I'll start with the gold, the dimensions gold petites. Um, this one is uh, Bayside Cottage. This is a really popular one. Um, and I just, I love the, um, these are pretty much golds are, are, pretty much full coverage and they will sometimes will include more stitches than just crosses half crosses and uh, back stitch so and usually they're on a smaller count fabric like this is I think this is 18 count let me see it looks like it yeah 18 count ivory Ada so and these I might I might swap out no kitty my cats love to eat like stickers they're weird um, so, and then I also have the Twilight Angel. I don't know how many of these angels there were, but I, um, this one has some beads and charms. Um, but I thought she was pretty. And I think I bought this right after my mom passed. I thought I might do it as a memorial piece for her. Still haven't done it. Um, speaking of the angels, um, I actually should probably start this today. Today is the, uh, July 4th here in the U.S., so happy birthday, America, if you are if you are from the United States. Um, but um, this is the Patriotic Angel, another gold kit. And these you can still find. Um, so um, she's really pretty, too. And like I said, don't... Oh, Dark Ada on her too, but like I said, I should probably start her today, although I'm not planning to start anything new. Um, then you guys, another acquisition just recently because of my weird horse obsession thing I've got going. Um, I got this one. This one's called Good Morning. And the, gosh, the confetti, you guys, in that hay and the barn slat walls is going to be no joke, but um, there is the back of that one. And needs lots of sniffs here from Stashy. Yeah, do do do, kitty. So speaking of kitties, here is Feline Love, and I got this. Too. We also have um, the monarch monarch butterflies over winter here. So um, I thought that was cute, and plus it's got the cats on it. We used to have an orange cat that I just absolutely loved. He was wonderful. His name was Farley. Um, I also have Beacon at Daybreak. This is the only lighthouse that I have. This is a really popular one, too, but I, lo I do love the colors in this one. So, there's that. And then, last but not least, I have um, Christmas on the Beach. And since we live near the beach, and I would love to do something beachy and Christmassy, um, I got this one intended to start these. I talked about starting them last year. I had one picked out for each season and then I I just never got around to it. I'm, I'm terrible. I even hate to tell you guys my plans because I'm terrible at keeping up with it. Alright you guys, then I have some full size um, gold collection kits. Not too many, but a few. Um, I have the Woodland Enchantress. 
So one of the pretty ladies, I'd love to have the 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 one on the unicorn, um, the pretty the fancy lady on the unicorn, but she's been out of print for a while and she's really expensive. So on like eBay and stuff. So she's I'm probably not going to end up getting her, but um, and I'm not I'm not one of those people that has to get out of print kits. Um, I mean, if I would come across it, like at a garage sale or a thrift store, I might go ahead, but I'm not going to like hunt it down or anything. Um, so, cause I already have enough <laughs> to stitch for, uh, more than the rest of my life, I'm sure. So, um, Woodland Enchantress. Um, then I also got the Finder of Nature. This is also a reprint print. Sorry about the glare. And I saw Luda stitching this one. It was really pretty. So I got that again, dark black Ada on this one. I also got the Flowers of Joy. These look like peonies to me, and um, I love peonies. So there's that one. Then I also got um, Wind Moon Fairy. She's got a cat. Another fancy lady. And I've, I've heard people talk about just doing the moon, you know, doing her on a um, hand-dyed fabric, and that's probably what I'll do too rather than stitch all that background, because this is also, oh no, it's on a light Ada, so oh my gosh, you guys, that means you'd have to stitch all that dark in there. So, um, so yeah, so I might do her, do her also on a hand dyed. Here is the Christmas Village Gold Dimensions. These are super cute, too. Haven't started them yet, but again, they're full coverage. Um, so, even though they're little, so, and then I have a couple of gold stockings too. I got the Snowman Gathering. I love the deer on that one and just all the little critters. Super, super cute. And then I also got Santa's Flight stocking. I love the perspective of this one where you can see the village below and the sky and this one and stuff. So that's it, you guys. I'm about to have an avalanche here, but those are my dimensions kits. Um, again, I hope to start getting some paper crafting videos up again. I've been in the mood to do it. It's just been, like I said, my craft room has been such a mess. Every time I walk in there, I get overwhelmed and I turn around and walk out. So anyway, um, so that is it for me today. Um, again, happy 4th of July to those of you in the States, and I hope to talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye.